my name is Chloe Greger from East River Pilates and this is Good Moves with Well and Good. Today we're going to be doing a full body Pilates workout on the mat. You don't need any equipment, just you and the mat, so let's get started. We're going to start seated, so come on down. We're going to start with a bit of abdominal work, some roll down. So you'll extend the legs out in front of you. About hip width distance apart, you can flex the feet or you can have a little bend in your knees if you've got tight hamstrings. You're gonna reach the arms forward in front of you and then think about lengthening your spine, like the crown of your head is reaching straight up. Now, keep that length in the upper back and the spine and then scoop the tailbone and start to roll your spine back. Working into those abdominals, pull the belly button into the spine. Hold there for a moment, really broaden and open through the collarbones and the chest, and then roll yourself back up and sit tall at the top. We'll add in the breathing this time. Take a breath in, scoop from that tailbone, start to roll yourself down as far as you can with control, doesn't matter what that looks like. And then exhale to roll yourself all the way on up. Maybe you get a little bit deeper on this one. Scoop that tailbone under, Pull those abdominals in on the inhale, roll back, keep that chest open. And then exhale to roll yourself up and sit tall at the top. Each time we get a little bit deeper, scoop that tailbone under, roll it back, really pull that belly button in towards your spine, long through the back of the neck and roll it up. We're here for a few more. Try and let any tension go that you might be holding through the fronts of the legs through your quads. I know sometimes hip flexors and quads can get a little bit tight, so just shake it out if you need to. And we're here for another two like this. Lengthen through that spine. Scoop and round, chest is open. Get a little bit lower. Last one like this, warming up that spine, getting those abdominals to engage nice and deeply. And then come all the way up, shake it out a little bit. Now we're gonna add a reach, make it a little bit more challenging. We reach those arms forward, we scoop that tailbone under, rolling off the back of the pelvis and finding that lowest point that you could possibly hold because we're gonna hang out here for a moment. So make sure you feel good here. You're gonna reach one arm up overhead and then bring it forward and then reach the other arm up overhead and bring it forward. Now the higher that arm goes, the more challenging this is going to be. Good. We don't want to come any higher as we lift the arm, but I want you to get to that point where you feel that little bit of shakiness as you lift the arm up and overhead. Good. We exhale as the arm lifts up. We inhale to come forward. Chest is still nice and open. Keep those heels grounded. If you want to get a little bit deeper, get a little bit deeper. Pull those abdominals in. We'll go one more on each side. Good, last one here, both arms reach forward, roll all the way up and then just fold forward and just shake it out a little bit. All right, let's bring in a bit of a twist, work into the obliques a little bit now. So arms are gonna come forward again. We set up in the same way. Good, this time as we roll back, we're gonna sweep the arm out to the side like you're reaching for something in the distance and then sweep that arm forward to come up nice and tall. Then we go the other way. We inhale, scoop the tailbone, sweep to the other side and then sweep the arm forward on the exhale to lift up tall. Good, we inhale to come down, open through the chest, Good, and then sweep it forward, lengthening the spine at the top each time. Again, you control how deep you make this, so if you wanna make it more challenging, scoop that tailbone a little bit more and get that little bit deeper. Oh, you wanna to get to that point where those abdominals are really shaking, but you also want it to feel good for your body. So only working in a range that you feel like you can really control as you move from side to side. Good, the chest stays open, the collarbones are broad and open like they're smiling forward in front of your chest. Really nice, all right, last one. Come all the way up and then fold it forward. All right, one last little challenge here for those abdominals, getting them really working. We're gonna roll it down now. We stay square, you can either stay here or if you want a little bit more of a challenge, you could lift the arms a little bit, you could lift the arms a lot, you could even take them all the way up towards your ears if you'd like. Find a position that feels right for you, open the chest, pull those abs in and then we just pulse it. We just do these little lifts, little lifts. Good, pulling those abdominals in that little bit more each time you lift. The collarbones are still wide, we're still having fun and we keep it going. We'll go for another five. 
and four. Exhaling on that lift for three, for two. Last one, come all the way up. Great job, we're gonna come into some glute work next. So come up onto your knees, about in the middle of your mat. We're gonna tip the body over to the side. So we'll take the hand down and tip over so that your hand is in line with your knee. And then the opposite leg is gonna extend out, take the hand on the hip. So my whole body is in this one long line. I take the hand to the hip, I pull the rib cage in and I gently draw the belly button in towards the spine. Now if this feels like it's too hard to reach or if you feel like you're getting a bit of a cramp in that bottom hip, feel free to Put that hand on a block or on a cushion just to lift yourself up a little bit. That will feel a lot better. From here, we're gonna lift this leg up. We exhale to lift the leg up, and then we inhale to lower it down. Exhale to lift, staying long through the spine. It's almost like we're in a side plank position. So we wanna stay really long and tall all the way through the crown of the head. And then feel that lift coming from the outside of that hip as we build strength and stability around our pelvis and our hips. Good, only lifting up as high as you can. And then we lift it up and we hold it up there. Okay, stay long through the spine. We're gonna now sweep the leg forward. Use your abdominals, engage through your core. We sweep the leg forward in front of the body and then we sweep it back and we go just past the hip to get a little bit of that glute max activation. So we inhale, we sweep the leg forward. We exhale to pull it back. Now, a lot of you will feel a lot of work in that bottom hip as well. That is normal. Sometimes people feel it even more in the bottom hip than the top one. The lucky thing is we're gonna do the other side, so we'll be even. Good, stay tall, keep pressing out of this bottom arm. Good, and try not to have any movement through the lower back as we sweep forward and back. So we're really engaging through that core at the same time. Good, we've got a couple more here. Inhale to sweep forward, exhale to pull back. You might even be a little bit shaky like me. This is the last one. We pull it back and then we open it out in line with the body. This opposite arm is gonna reach up overhead. From here, we're gonna pull the elbow towards the knee. Good, really pull it in and then really lengthen everything out. So we exhale, we pull in. We inhale to lengthen the body out. Exhale to pull, inhale to reach. If you feel any sort of sensitivity or fatigue in your neck, feel free to take the gaze down. That will take any tension out. Otherwise, keep the gaze forward. Good, really curl in, working into those obliques as well as the sides of the hips. Exhale, pull it in. Good, we've got two more like this. Last one here, we reach it out and we hold. Long spine, ribs in, abs in, and we just pulse it up. We pulse it up, little pulses, just to finish it off. By now you should feel that burn, you should feel it work. Little lifts, little lifts, we're nearly there, stay with it. Exhale to lift, we're here for three for two, last one, and then we bring it all the way in. Whew, shake it out, sit back to your heels, and then we'll come straight into the other side. So, come on up, hand's gonna come down to the side. We literally tip the body over. So the hand is in now in line with those knees. We extend the opposite leg out, and we take the hand to the hip. Open the chest, take a look down and make sure that foot, the knee, the hand are all in one long line, one long plane, that's really important. Press those hips forward, pull those abs in. We're definitely using the core here. And then we lift the leg up. We slowly lower it down. Exhale as you lift up, aiming to get it up in line with the hip. But if you don't get anywhere near there, that is also totally fine. <sighs> Exhale to lift, inhale slowly down. Good, keep lifting up out of this bottom shoulder. So we're working on stabilizing through that bottom shoulder at the same time. Good, lifting it up for two and one. And then we lift up, we hold it up there. We're gonna come into those sweeps. We sweep the leg forward in front of the body and then we take it back behind the hip, just behind to feel that squeeze through the back of the hip. Now the challenge here is to not arch or tuck the tailbone under, but just to keep the core really strong without any movement through the lower back and through the spine. Good, keep it going. Try and keep the leg at the same height as we move forward and back. You should start to feel the work in that butt, both sides really. Good, feel that power, feel that strength. Good, we have one more here, forward. 
and back. And then we just reach out in line with the hip. The opposite arm's gonna reach up overhead. We take a breath in. As we exhale, we curl it in, pull the elbow towards the knee. Inhale to open out. Exhale, pull in. Inhale to reach. And reach. Good, try and keep that leg lifted up as you reach it out. You can allow this little crunch of the body to really work into those obliques. Get those abdominals working. Good, keep lifting up out of that lower arm. We're nearly there. Last two. Last one. Reach it out, we hold it, and just to finish it, little pulses of that leg up. Think about reaching that leg away from your body. Open that chest, pull those abdominals in, and lift. Keep pulsing, pull the rib cage in, and we keep it going. Four, three, two, one, and bring it in. Whew. And now we're gonna move on to a plank series with a little push-up series right at the end. So come over onto all fours. You wanna really um, spread your fingers wide. We'll just get the shoulders set. So whenever we do plank work, we really wanna find this lift up of the chest and the shoulders, but without rounding the spine. So it's this press away, but then shine the heart gently forward as we do that. Okay, you can either stay on your hands or you can come down onto your forearms, but keep that lift. You'll slide one leg back. You'll slide the other leg back, finding yourself in a plank. Now we keep that lift of the chest. We zip the belly button in towards the spine and then we lift the chest but shine the heart forward. To start, we're gonna rock forward and back on the balls of the feet. So we exhale to rock forward, we inhale to draw the heels back. Good, you could also do this on your knees in a kneeling plank. You could just hold a kneeling plank as well. So always working at that level that feels good for your body. Move in a way that feels good for you. Stay lifted through the chest, keep that heart shining forward and actively draw the belly button in towards your spine. Good, we hold it here and we just drop the knees. Give yourself a little break by reaching back. And then when you're ready, we come straight into it, into some hip dips. So elbows come down, we come back into that plank, chest lifted, slide those feet back, either on the knees or for those who are taking the kneeling variation, drop the knees tuck the toes. Otherwise, stay up on those toes and we come into these hip dips. We dip the left hip down towards the mat and then we come up and over and the right hip dips down. Up and over. Exhale, inhale through the center, exhale to find that dip. Good, and here you should feel that bottom side that's dipping down really work into the side of that waist. Good, imagine you're coming up and over a beach ball as you dip the hips down and feel that work into the sides of the waist. Good, keep those legs straight and try and keep the feet still as well as you do this. So all the movement is coming from the sides of the waist and we're working into those obliques. Come to the center, drop the knees, shake it out, whatever you need. And then we're gonna come into some commandos, really get those arms working. So we'll start on the hands this time. Good, we'll set up that chest, set up those shoulders, slide out into your plank when you're ready. Good, from here. The wider your feet are here, the more supported you'll feel, but again, if you wanna come down onto your knees, you can also do that. We're gonna drop down to the forearm and then the other side, and then lift up on that same side and come up, and then we're gonna swap the arms. So we lower on the right and then the left, lift on the right and then the left, and we're gonna keep alternating that the goal here is to keep the pelvis really steady, really level. Imagine you're balancing a cup of tea on your lower back and we don't want that to spill anywhere. You'll do the same thing from your knees. Keep that control each time you come up. Think about resetting through those shoulders and lifting through that chest. Still breathing through. Good, our last one here. We lift and we take a break. Shake it out. Our last one here, we're gonna do some Pilates push-ups. I'm gonna give you a few different options for so that you can choose which option you wanna take. But we'll start with our tricep lowers. So come onto your hands and knees. Good, lift through the chest and then spiral your elbow creases in and forward so they're pointing straight in front of you. 
we stay really lifted through those shoulders and then we lower the forearms down towards the mat and then we lift up. So it's an inhale to lower and exhale to lift. That's option one. Those who want to make this a little bit more challenging, take a step back with the knees, draw them together and then shift the weight forward so your shoulders are right over the wrist. Now this is a kneeling plank, so pull those abdominals in, really engage through your core. Same thing, elbow spiral in and forward. And we're gonna go for tricep push-ups here. We're gonna inhale to lower the body down, exhale to lift and press away. Now only lower down as far as you can with control. So if that means it's a small range for you, that's totally fine, that's where you'll work. And as you build strength through your body, you'll be able to increase the range of motion. Use that exhale. Last two here. Last one, big press up, and then sit back to your heels into a child's pose so that you can rest. Awesome. And that was your full body Pilates workout. You can do this on its own, or you can tack it on to your other workouts just to get all those core muscles firing all those stability muscles working. Thank you so much for watching Good Moves. If you want more videos, subscribe below.